Okay, quick test. I got a new set of coils on here. <clears throat> Hopefully you've seen my previous video I just uploaded. Took two tries. Okay, this is the same core as the last video. These are two different coils in the same configuration. This coil is wound this way. This coil is wound this way. And they're shorted together. The two back connections and the two front connections. And they come down here to this wire comes down to this switch which is connected to a 12 volt DC bulb it's a 1 ohm resistor anyway I have a uh, multimeter set on AC volts on the coils here this is very thick uh, primary wire from uh, microwave oven transformer windings the primary windings very thick don't even know what that is 18 gauge 16 gauge it's the thicker I had a whole bunch of microwave oven transformers that I was taking apart or to choose from to take apart and I this is from the larger of the wire windings of the primary so whatever that is it's thick stuff you know anyways just wanted to show you this so same setup have my uh, motor on there again AC settings on the uh, little pickup coil here this is to show just to show a change in speed and again AC on the coils and I'm gonna start her up give her a flick oh how about plugging it in <laughs> yeah that helps all right, so it'll pick up speed. It's got a little work to do, thanks to me. All right, so these uh, coils are generating a little voltage. This one, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring this one up. Uh, last video I had this at 13.4 for the test. This is the one I want to look at. I want two volts. There we go. That's going to have a good current, <laughs> believe me. I'm going to let it settle. Right there near 16 volts on your little pickup coil. The wheel is so heavy that it takes just a minute to uh, adjust it to a particular speed that you want. So there we go. She's settling 15.7 on the little little pickup coil here, AC to, just to show speed. And again, just to show you the the shaft there, it's not ultra fast. So 15.7, 15.8. Sure, it's settled down. Two point two on these cars. Okay, fifteen point eight, two point seven, fifteen point eight, fifteen point seven. I'm gonna flick the switch, short these coils. There we go. They're shorted. It's giving light actually in the bulb. Haven't seen that before.
Okay, now I've shorted it right out. It's not going through the bulb. It's not coming through this meter either. It's shorted right out, just together. No resistor, no nothing. I forget what the uh, preliminary voltage was. But it's picking up speed right now. Picking up speed. And it, it's shorted right out. It's picking up, picking up. Faster, faster. You can hear it accelerating. <laughs> uh, I forget what the beginning voltage was. I mean, I'll be able to look on the video, but... I think it was 16.7. But again, it's not going th over through here. Right now I have it shorted right out. It's shorted right together. These coils are shorted right out. It's not even making it this far. It's not going through the bulb. It's still gaining speed. <laughs> uh, just had to show that so this should really settle anyone's um, uh, maybe questions they had if, if it's the same as the Thane Hines this is like 16 or 18 gauge wire it's shorted right out together is what I did I, I just I had them on these terminals right here those two clips and now I just shorted them together that's all so it's not going through the bulb or anything looks like it's close to settle down at 20.7 and it's flying <laughs> again with I don't even know what that is 16 18 gauge it's thick stuff here I gotta have maybe have something to uh Jesus kind of scary the sound of it. It is a pencil. So that's thick wire. There you go. Alright. Alright, we're calling it a vid. There you go. I'll uh I'll talk to you later. Hi Roger. <laughs> I'll uh, talk to you later.